So the British are putting a lot of pressure on me because they don't really have to worry about Europe that much. Germany has their hands tied behind their back. They haven't even forced France to capitulate just yet. So we've got all of the British Navy kind of coming after me and uh, their Air Force as well. And they're trying to launch several naval invasions. So I started to kind of modify what my Navy was doing a little bit. Um, we're no longer going to be focused so much on the Caribbean. Uh, although we are fighting a few, there's a current uh, engagement going on in the Caribbean Sea, but we'll, we'll be fine. Um, it's only, what, like two subs or something like that? Uh, either way, or two destroyers. So we're going to go and eat them up quite nicely. Uh, I started moving everyone to focus on patrolling the Labrador, Labrador Sea, as well as uh, Newfoundland Sea and the Eastern Seaboard. Uh, we're also going to do a naval invasion on this, I think this, ah, oh, jeez, this is Newfoundland, right? I believe, yeah, this is Newfoundland. This is Nova Scotia. So off of Nova, Nova Scotia, we're going to be invading Newfoundland. Uh, that's going to take some time, though. That'll definitely take some time, but it'll be good to get them, you know, get rid of these naval bases. Actually, they only have one naval base uh, on this landmass, but still, just to get them out of the continent would be nice. Uh, they also have something apparently going on in the Pacific, in the Caribbean Sea, and then in the western in Western Canada, uh, Japan is over here, and I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're helping out with something. I, I don't know. Uh, either way, I do need to start to control more of my ships in the Pacific now. I think now is about the time. So we can do the West Coast, so we can probably start to... Uh, let's see where, the, where these guys are at. So we've got a division of battleships here all along the West Coast. Let's let's go ahead and and probably select most of those. Let's let's select almost all of them. Let's see here. Uh, West coast, west coast. Yeah, we can do the Philippines as well. They're all going to be over this way. Let's leave this the Caribbean fleet, uh, the Central American fleet there. West coast. All right, and these guys are going to stay there. So let's group these guys up. Let's have them all meet in, geez, where are you all at? Who knows where you all are at? Let's, let's go ahead and meet in San Francisco. I don't know how many, some of them might have been combined. Well, these are the Philippine troops, or the Philippine ships. Estonia has capitulated. Please tell me that Estonia is not, geez, they actually, yeah, the British are, have pretty strong control so far. Um, oh, okay, good. Yeah, Estonia was a part of the Poland faction anyways. So this is good, I think. This is Lithuania. Poland's capitulated. All right, good. You know, that's the second time that they said that, I think. And, uh, and, and Poland has not completely capitulated. So that's a little bit weird. Okay, good. So we're continuing to destroy a few fleets. Uh, a, a, a def a destroy a few of the British troops. Ooh. Ooh, what is this? Oh, we've defeated, oh, we've defeated Poland, I see. Latvia and Lithuania. Uh, I don't want any of this stuff. I mean, I guess I could ask. I could ask for it. Um, as the United... Well, you know, it could be a little bit fun. It would be fun if I take over a little bit of Latvia, right? Oh, wait, nope, never mind. Never mind. I don't have enough score. I thought I, <laughs> I thought I could just just say hey, yeah. Let me just jump in on this. Um, but I will pass, and then you guys can do whatever you want. Okay, I'm done. That'd be kind of cool. But then again, I mean, it, it does make a little a lot of sense actually. Um, Iron Wolf Lithuania was puppeted. How awesome is that name, Iron Wolf Lithuania? So Lithuania has become a puppet of the Axis, and their new name is Iron Wolf. That's really really badass. All right, so the Empire of the Thunder Cross was puppeted. Puppeted. Who is that? Is that Latvia? Is that their name? There are some awesome names in here. Man, it is crazy. That is really cool. Okay, so we need to be careful here. Sweden is... Or, I'm sorry, Germany doesn't have as much to worry about. Also, Turkey really hasn't done as much of a, of a job against the Soviets as I thought they were. And Japan, come on, man. Come on, Japan. Do your thing. Do your thing. Take over the Soviets, please. Iron Wolf of uh, Lithuania has capitulated. Aw, oh, man, just like that, they capitulated. Well, they didn't have very many provinces anyway, so I guess this isn't super surprising. All right, um, how is our naval invasion looking? Looks like it's going well. Oh, did we lose that? No, that British lost that. 
Is that what the, is that what this is telling me? Oh no. Okay, well, we had a victory here. Still sinking ships, but not sinking a significant amount. But we're winning some naval invasions. I'm sorry, we're winning some uh, naval battles, I mean. And just please let me know when we have... Let's see, how, how much further? Still a while, a, a ways away. Still a while to go. I see that Japan is over here. I'm not sure if Japan is helping me. Is protecting me any, at all, or what? Let's keep all, let's keep all of the... Um, Let's keep all the garrison troops kind of in those islands. Don't really want to mess with them at all. Keep them there. I could speed this up to speed four. Now, what's going on with Mexico? If I were to take out Mexico, I can revoke guarantee, which I probably would have to. I can't go to war with them without revoking that guarantee. Hmm. Uh, we still need rubber. Now, who has rubber? That's what I want to know. Because if we can get some rubber... In the, uh, in the Empire, that would be nice. Okay, Mexico has quite a bit of oil. They've got some tungsten. Rubber. Who has it? Who has it? Lots of oil from uh, Venezuela as well. Well, hmm. I don't see really much of anything in North America. And there might be some in South America. Well, I'll keep that in mind. I mean, I could probably... You know what? I have enough civilian factories that I could probably trade with Germany if they have any right now. Um, they actually don't. Oh, well, that, that would explain it. Siam, doesn't Siam usually... Aren't they usually fascist? Don't they usually go fascist? Belgium's joined the Allies. Okay, so that's going to be another front, which is actually good. Um, if you think about it, Germany wasn't going to take over France along this line here. Way too difficult. The land forts here are crazy. Um, where can we see that? There's no way to check on their... Oh, land forts. Zero. I guess they have no land forts. There's something here, though, usually. Oh, it's, maybe it's the mountain terrain. Something that makes it very difficult for the AI to move through France along this region. Denmark has joined the Allies, too. Okay, so that means that they're going to be involved in our war. We might want to make a naval invasion of Denmark. Actually, this is perfect. This is how we can get to the British Isles. Move from Nova... Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Newfoundland to Danish Greenmark <laughs> to uh, Iceland. And then, bam, United Kingdom. And maybe we could invade Norway, too. That might not be a bad idea, either. Um, we do need to convert over civilian factories to military factories. I know that people want me to go down this. I guess I will, especially if we do decide to do that route, to focus on attacking the British instead of, uh, of Latin America. You know, if we just change them all to fascists, then they're pretty much under my control anyways. We're winning these battles, right? Yes, we are. Okay, so we're, win we're winning these. Wait a second, why aren't you doing what I told you to do? Oh, because I didn't tell them to do it. I see. Well, that's because I, I wanted to wait for my ships to get there. Because I had the destroyers in the Caribbean, and I was a little bit worried that they... Uh... Division belongs to an army, but has no orders. What do you mean you have no orders? I just told you what to do. Fine, fine, fine. Let's do this again. So if I right-click here, or I'm sorry, click, or do we want more capacity? Oh, oh no, you've got 40 there. Capacity, zero, 40. Supply throughout, limit to delete order. Here, let's do it here instead. Right-click to select invasion destination. And how long do we have to prepare for this? I know that you have to prepare for a lot longer. Denmark has joined. There it is right there. So Denmark's joined in. Let's go ahead and begin this. Norway, good. Nationalist Spain joined the Axis. Okay, so that's going to make the French front a lot easier for Germany. Norway has joined in too. So that's going to be the plan. We're going to be launching naval invasions, hopefully to... Uh... No, don't delete anything. Uh-oh. Oh, those are... Okay, I thought that they were actually on that island. Alright. So... So, what are you telling me here? Why is this not working? It's very frustrating. <laughs> what is going on? Do I have to do... Do I have to do it into a different... Does it be a different location? Is it because the British are not allowing it? Or what's going on? Here, let me 
Let me add these guys to planes. Let's do something like this to my planes. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Military conversion. Let's convert over a little bit. How are we looking construction? I'll worry about that stupid naval invasion. Um, I'm building a lot of naval dockyards as well along the east coast. So we can build more ships. We're working on... We're actually trying to do a lot right now. So yeah, Kansas was where I wanted to do last time. Not too many, just a few. And let's focus on what's going on in Can Kansas first. Let's prioritize that. We're probably building a little bit too many naval dockyards at once because we're going to be working on those naval dockyards for a really long time. And uh, yeah, getting nationalist Spain inside of here is going to make this a lot, lot easier. They haven't joined the Soviet war yet, but that's fine. Now Poland can focus, I'm sorry, Germany and Turkey can focus on the Soviets. Hopefully Japan does the same thing. Did, uh, yes, you can join wars, except, uh, did my ships arrive? Yeah, they did. Okay. So we group you guys together. At this point, I really want you just to kind of make sure that nothing happens along our coast here. That, wait, wait, wait. There you go. You can take this guy. Alright, so they should be making sure that we're staying safe. Alright, good. Wait a second, where'd my subs go? I know that, you know, when I checked over the break, the subs were, uh, were hurting a little bit. Subs were not doing as well. Here, yep, see, I knew that that's what they're gonna do. So let's make sure that we get over here. Let's, uh, let's delete this order. Let's delete this whole thing. Just make sure that we make a front line right there. This is the naval invasion that they're talking about, right? Yeah, it is. Very low supplies. Where? Ah, uh, we probably need an infrastructure as well. I know that I haven't really... Here, let's get... Um, National Spain has joined the Soviet war. There they go. Let's get them to come here anyways. Ireland has joined the Allies. Okay, so just as I talked about how Ireland hasn't joined anything, uh, they decided to join in now. Okay, now where are my subs? Here are my subs. Now, I think last time I checked, my subs were preparing over the break. I'm sorry, not preparing. Um, regrouping. Good, good, good. So these guys are still building things. They're still rebuilding. Luxembourg has capitulated. Perfect. Um, I'm sorry, they're repairing, right? Capacity. Yeah, we should be able to send them back out. I think they're, I think they're good to go now. It's currently repairing in New England. How much do you have to repair? Formation spread? Like, how, how bad is it? Wish it was like EU4 where it showed us very clearly. Recon company. All right, hold on. Average strength, organization, 100%. I mean, I guess I can let them do what they're doing for a little bit. I mean, I've got that other fleet that's kind of handling it right now. Let's, let's, get, let's get some field hospitals, I guess. And we need a logistics company. We need a lot of things. We need to look for things that are going to decrease research time, too. Um, that would be nice. If we can keep up with research time, that would be really nice. All right, good. So they're coming here. Let me delete this order here. There you go. Some divisions. Let's see. The plan set considered to be risky. As long as we have control over that, then we should be okay. Not sure if they need like. Oh, okay. Well, they're not. Okay, I think I think they might be doing it now, but I'm not sure if it's because I'm moving them or what. How's this going? Okay, this is going well. Let's go ahead and have them press forward, kicking them out. Let's go back after the garrison. Oh, Venezuela's still here. I forgot about that. And they're going to remain here for a while, actually. Dang. All right, so we need to work on more ships. Uh, what do we have right now? We've got heavy cruisers, submarines, and destroyers. Let's go with a battleship, right? Let's go with definitely a battleship. Let's do that. Maybe not as many heavy cruisers. Maybe not as many destroyers. 
Let's put all these, yeah, let's do that. So we can make 1.92 per year. That would be helpful. Let's go back to garrison these troops. There you go. I figure they're going to launch something off of the Caribbean, especially since... Oh, wait, there's more. There's more. Actually. Oh, you're, oh we're going over there anyways. They took over Miami. we got to watch that. Not Miami. Fall of Gibraltar. Okay, so now that Spain has kicked the British out of, the, uh, out of Iberia, I mean. Japan is still here supporting us. And these guys are going to make it up this way. Uh, I know that there's a lot of infrastructure I still need to rebuild in Canada. Yeah, there's actually a lot. You need to rebuild military factories. You need to build civilian, rebuild uh, civilian factories. All of this stuff. I'm going to lower the amount of uh, naval, naval dockyards that I'm going to try to produce right now. Just a little bit. That might help out a little bit. And what's going on here? What happens? Why didn't you show us that? Okay, well, either way, it's fine. Okay, so now we're all fully garrisoned. We can kind of be a little bit more careful. Haven't engaged anything in the Pacific. That's why I thought. I know that there was something. They were saying, I think it was maybe Canada that was trying to launch something. There was a uh, naval uh, invasion, a notification that popped up in the Pacific over, I think, in the last video. So I was kind of confused at what was going on there. Uh, but anyways, guys, I'm going to figure out this naval invasion thing. I, I don't know what the heck's going on. I don't know. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.